Whether you want to or not, or you are not looking at me, y'all don't me, don't look at me, look at the person next to me. Tell them I'm changing. Whether you want to or not, it's on you. What you gonna do? Because somebody tell me I refuse to remain the same. The world ain't my problem. God ain't my problem. I'm my, I'm my problem. I'm gonna change my mindset. Yeah. Change yeah. how I look at things. Change my paradigm. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The church needs a paradigm yeah. shift. Yeah. Without a paradigm shift, you in trouble. <laughs> yes. Because your subconscious nature is gonna continue to walk out what you've been. Yeah. If you don't change it. Amen. God gave you all the tools. Yes, he has. Now what you going to do with it? Yes, you going to leave the toolbox? <laughs> oh, no. you? Or you going to pull them tools out and utilize? Yes. It's up to you. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. God gave you all the 21. Y'all can be seated. Yep. Looking back over the year, what has been your accomplishment? Have you stopped to take inventory uh -huh. to see what it's been all the year? <laughs> Have I seen anything change? Or has it been the same? Now I'm going into 22. What is it going to be? The same thing again? Nope. nope. Or is it going to be different? It's going to be different. Can't blame the president. Can't blame Amen. the government. Amen. Can't blame no pandemic. All you have to do, look, look at yourself and blame yourself. Because I should not have allowed any of it to stop me. But I did. Because when you go into your word, you find all in the word. Everyone that stood in faith, they came out on top. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Everyone, you show me one that stood in their faith that failed. I'll close this Bible forever. It's not in there. Everyone that stood in their faith, things happened for them. But you can't allow society to be your governor. You can't allow your surroundings. You can't allow your own stinking thinking to govern you. When God say, I gave you myself. I gave you myself. I created you in my own image. Yes, yes. Like myself. Amen. Then he turned around in Ephesians and said, imitate me. Amen. In everything you do. Yes. As a child imitates his father. So look at your neighbor and ask them, how is it you can ever fail? If you imitate him, no. I can't imitate him from flesh. I can only imitate him from spirit because God is a spirit. I don't care how people put him. He's a spirit. And you are a spirit. Oh, but what happens? We are so flesh connected that we don't realize that we're spirits. I'm too connected to my flesh, so I don't realize. Whatever valley you go through, you can come out of it. Amen. Whatever you are faced with, whatever the circumstance, whatever the yes. situation, yes. you can come out of it. Oh, yes, you can. Goliath, I love it. When he, 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 he faced, uh, David, when he faced Goliath, he said, this day, I don't care how big, how tall, right. how strong. It doesn't matter. A person that's standing in his faith and know who he or she is, 
You say this day, the Lord has delivered you. Oh my goodness. There's no way you can be stopped when you flow from God in you. Y'all got to come on here. No way you're facing another year. You can't look at it the same way you did last year and the years before because you're going to have another failing year. You know God said it's supposed to be phenomenal. It's, yeah. it's supposed yeah. to be a year of excelling, escalation. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't lock into that, there are angels and demons at the gate. Yeah. And whichever one you call out is the one that's going to happen for you. So it can be good or it can be bad. Everything has an angel and a demon standing there. You're going to have to take the word of God and you're going to have to war with it. Whatever God has said, you got to war with it because the enemy is not going to just let you walk in. Are oh, you ready to hear this? He's not going to just let you walk in because God said it. Well, I read it in the Bible, so I know nothing just happens. I go, oh, yeah, I'm not trying to go into this yet. But I'm here. I'm going to fall somewhere. But nothing just happens. Everything that you find in the Word, you got to put faith to it. And if you saw anybody else's name, you better put yours there. Amen. Because he's talking to you today. And you better come on here today. What is that ever telling you can conquer anything? But you better get up in your faith. You better put your name in the Bible. Everywhere you saw somebody else, you better put yours there. Because as he is, so are you in this world. Stop trying to analyze it. Stop trying to figure it out. Just get in your faith. Take a step and you don't even see the stairs. Just step in it with and, and trust that it's going to catch you. I, I don't know how, but I just know that I know that I know that I know that I know. Yeah, I created in his name. Oh, I'm created like God. Hallelujah. There's no way I can lose with the stuff I use. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, she slapped somebody telling you all that spirit. You better gravitate to it. Don't get to the end of life and have a bunch of woulda, shoulda, coulda when you can be living it right now. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Yeah, this may not work you, but it gets to me. Because I lost far too long. I'm not going to allow the enemy to just continue to step his foot on my head and on my neck and on my life. No, this day. I wish you slap somebody and tell them this day. I don't care what you faced last year. That's gone. It's over. Don't carry that over. That man said, let bygone be bygone. You can't, you can't do nothing about the past. Yeah. But I can do something about my future. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Yeah. Your past don't dictate your future. Yeah. Only way it dictates your future is you remain there. Yeah. You can start to date declaring yeah. who you are. Yeah. And at every gate you face, you call out what it's going to be before yeah. you get there. Yeah. God said, let there be and there was. Glory to God, you're going to have to speak it when you're standing in the face of the enemy. Honey, you're going to have to speak it. Glory to God, stop listening to what they're talking about and start listening to what God is talking about. God said, I created you to have a dominion life. I created you to be blessed in every step you take. I created you to be blessed going in and blessed coming out. Nothing can stop a child. Glory to God. God said, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon formed against you will prosper. I say it again, no weapon, no weapon. I don't care what he forged up. No weapon formed against you. Do I have any believers up in here? Somebody that ain't afraid of the enemy. I'm going to put no lock on my tongue. I'm going to open up my mouth, devil. And you going down. Oh, 
If I don't do this, you're going to do this. Lord God, I seen the Hebrew boys. Oh, if you don't do this, I'm going to do this. But glory to God, they stood. Hallelujah. They stood. We will not bow. And the believers today are going to have to take that stand and say, we are not going to bow. And let them go ahead and turn up the heat. Try to put the mandate on you and you're still taking a stand. Oh, glory to God. The God that we serve is well able to deliver us from this fiery furnace. I don't care about this thing out here. I don't care what you try to put up on me. Glory to God if I got to create my own business. If I got to come up with my own job. I will not bow. But what you try to scare me with. I know who I am. Elijah can stop rain. Yeah. 
If I go back to the past, I'm going to die. I just 
test as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Take my chance. Stepping into my future. Is that what I'm not going to say? If we go back, they're going to kill us. Ain't that what they say? If we stay here, we're going to die. And if we go into the camp, we stand a chance of them killing us. But they said, we'd rather take our chance. Look at your name and tell them, take your chance, step into your future. Because when they stepped into their future, the whole heaven rumbled the camp. And everything that was up in there took off and ran. So they thought other armies was coming after them. And those same leper boys that they left out there to die went in and got everything that they got nervous. It was so much. It made them nervous. Oh, y'all don't hear me. It was so much. It made them nervous. But if they had to stay where they were or dictated their life from the mistakes of the past, they would not have done it. They didn't care what the past was. They didn't care what people said about them. They put us out here to die. Somebody got you out there and expected you to die. You just as well take a stand for yourself. And say, I'm going to step into my future. Somebody don't expect you to make it. You gonna have to prove them wrong. Them, little children, yes, 
Why you keep going back there? You've overcome them. Change that paradigm. It hasn't been working in the past. And the one that's talking to you, look at their life. So why am I going to sit here and die with you? No, I'm going to take a chance. And step into my future. God got better for me than this. He knew my life from the beginning. And the fact that he still got me here said there is great. There is great. The fact he still got me here. Oh, you better hear that. I know all the times you could have been gone and you still here. You're going to do. 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 You're going to
going to have to go at it with a vengeance. The kingdom, Matthew 11, 12, man, I'm, I'm all messed up. The kingdom suffered violence, but the violent, they take it by force. Can't keep giving everything away. Amen. And thinking it's the Lord we right. oh my God. Shift that paradigm. Look at somebody tell you, you better shift it. Because he's out to take some more. Yes. You better know who you are. Yes. For the Lord your God in you. Yes. You're going to make it. Yes. You're going to be all right. Yes. You live at your house. The house you blessed. You're highly favored. Everything is well for you. You look at them kids and you tell them you're blessed. You're favored. Glory to God. Everything is well for you. I don't care how jacked up it is. You got to call the right thing. The devil wants you to say what you see. Don't say what you see. Say what you desire to see. Proverbs 1821. The power of life and death is in your mouth. You will have what you say. Uh, I think it's what is it, Romans 3 and 3. Scripture come back and say, What if some don't believe? Will it make the faith of God of no effect? And the scripture ends and say, God forbid. Whether you believe it or not, it still is what it is. Yes, and there's going to be a person sitting next to you going to prove it. Yes. Where it didn't work for you, it's going to work for them because they're mixing it with faith. Yes, See, that's what he wants to sit around and, and govern everything. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Whether you believe it or not, it still is so. <laughs> And somebody gonna walk up with some proof, like putting up a tree. Y'all didn't hear me. And it get overflow out of nowhere. Getting bills paid that they didn't pay. But they coming back with zero dollars and don't even know how it's paid. Got the rent paid. How did this happen? Because somebody believed. Yes. You still waiting on a miracle. And somebody else is stepping into theirs. Because they're tired of praying about it. God said you're going to have to take it. Because the first day you prayed and I released it. But you got a war in the heavens. So you going to have to get up in your spirit. And snatch that thing down. From the Prince of Persia. Amen. Trying to snatch everything from you. Amen. Oh, glory to God. I don't care what's happening. You have enough power in you to conquer. But you can't lay down like a baby. Can't lay down like a slave. The Latin word for religion is religio. Which means back to bondage. You ain't going back to Egypt. You've been called out of there. Don't go back there. Don't allow anybody to take you back there. I don't care what it looks like. Stop looking at it from the outside. Uh, Colossians chapter 3, I think it is. He said, set your affections on things above. See, if I'm looking here, I don't see what's happening here. That's why I love here plenty. Because when the air, I don't care what's going on on the ground, when the airplane get up 20, 30,000 feet leveling out, what was on the ground don't even exist. You a smooth sailor. And that's where you got to look at your life. Doesn't matter what's happening out here. You live from a different place. The Bible describes you as a pilgrim walking through the earth. You're in the world, but you're not of it. 
So if everything out here is snatching and pulling on you, they say you're living from the wrong place. It shouldn't be snatching and pulling on you. You got to look at some of that stuff and say, I refuse to participate. You don't hear me. I don't get it. They say it on TV. You look, I refuse to participate. That shall not come down my house. When he tried to send that little storm, you stick to what you first believe. Mark chapter 4. Oh God. 35. Jesus told them, you got a word from God that say you're going to the other side. They heard Jesus. But when they got out there, the storm arose. No. The storm arose. And they forgot what Jesus told them in the first place. If he ever told you you're going to the other side, it doesn't matter what comes up in the middle. You're going to get there if you stick to what he said. Look at your neighbor and tell them, doesn't matter what comes up in between. You're going to get to the destination. If Jesus rests in the storm, you're supposed to rest. Amen. He would say, how are you sleeping all that storm, thunder, lightning, and all that? Because I, I, look, I already declared, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. I ain't worried about nothing. If I wake up on the other side, I'm all right. I live from there anyway. But people that are fearful, they're going crazy. You shall not die, but live. I wish you'd tell somebody that. You shall not die, but live. And declare whatever God has predestined for your life. If it has not been completed, then all thing is over. It's not over till you win. Oh, I gotta say it again. It's not over till you win. I don't care what the doctor said. I don't care what the job said. President said. Whoever said said. It's not over till you. I want you to slap five folks and tell them that. Oh, get up out that seat. Go slap them. It's not over till you win. Stop giving up so easy. Stop throwing in the top. Stop standing back and just saying, I wonder what's on the other side of this. Yeah. The fact that the devil's messing. Yeah. God must be blessing. Yeah. So I'm going to be still and no. Yeah. I'm going to be still and no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. it must be so big. Yeah. Oh, if it wasn't, the enemy would not be messing with you. Dogs don't bark at pop pop. I come out of my house the other day. And I had one of them bulldogs call this up from across the street. I'm staring out there at the end of the driveway. And I'm like, he really called himself coming after me. I said, stop. You stay, sit down. Uh, <laughs> stop. Uh, whatever he was, that big old face. And he sat down. I went to turn. And he thought, uh, I got another chance. 
Then I see him in my peripheral. I turn around. I told you to sit down and stop. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no story. This is really happening. And I stood and I looked at him. I, 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 what are you going to do? I ain't playing with you. Not today. You, you going down. That dog took his little butt right on back across the street. And he saw him playing with it. And he said, he'll, he'll see me and just start running. Uh-huh. But he thought he had a chance. Uh-huh. That's the way the enemy will do you. Yeah. I ain't playing that. Wow. You can back that thing down. You can back some other stuff down. Right there. Stop running. Hey. Yeah. Y'all hear me? Oh, yeah. I did, I, I did have some that could really help him, but you know, I just used my mouth. Praise the Lord. No, he's going to think three, four times. That's the way you got to do the enemy. He ain't got no business running you out your house. God didn't bless you and you sit up here. Let him just take over. We knew to the neighborhood, so he thought he had a chance. <laughs> he tried that in the other neighborhood. <laughs> I done got stronger now. <laughs> but that thing, I don't care what it was. He, he, you ain't standing the chance. Hallelujah. And you got to do the enemy the same way. You will not get and grow to where you're supposed to be going if you keep allowing what he say to you set you down. Too many of the church have just sat down and accepted whatever they say. Instead of standing up against it. That girl back there, I, I like the words she used. She said, you can't tell me no. I don't care who you is. You can't tell me no. See, that takes full confidence. Full confidence in knowing who you are. You don't accept no. You don't accept a denial. When God said all things are yours, you don't let the enemy just shut you down. Don't work this way. Flip it back this way. One of them two ways, it's going to work. But the enemy hopes that you just quit, throw in the towel, and sit down somewhere. I wish somebody would holler, I ain't shutting down no more. I ain't shutting down no more. I don't know, that was kind of weak. I, I need you to come on up out of your belly and just declare, I am not. I am not. Shutting down no more. Shutting down no more. No more. No, more. No, more. no, you're looking at a prosperous future. Thank you. And the fact that God gives that to you, you got to know He's going to try to play with you. So you have to work with it every day. Every day. You ain't got time for a day off. Because the enemy works 24 7. You have to be working your faith every day. Are you hearing me? Don't don't mess it up like you did in 21. Some of us didn't get to it. Because we allowed something or somebody to come up and distract us all. This time you're going to make a quality decision. But I'm going no matter who go with me. Whether you go or not, I'm going. You get older and older, you still lose and lose. When you gonna stop and say enough is enough already? I'm 21 now. I ain't got no business still losing. Somewhere up in here, you gonna have to say, "Listen, all I know is win." All I know is win, and stick to it. Amen. He that are led by the. Spirit 
Spirit of God, are the sons of God. The whole heavenly host got your back. Thank you, Lord. When you in faith. They got your back. Luke 18 said, Will there be faith in the earth? See if everybody running. Where's the faith? He looked for that person that's going to take that stand. And he said, I'll pour out there 44 and 3. I will pour. Oh, y'all don't hear this. I will pour water on a man that's thirsty. Let me translate that. I will pour blessing on a person that's thirsty and refusing to give up. I'll pour it on you. You'll see things work out for you. will blow your mind. You'll see so many blessings coming through on your behalf. Where is all this coming from? And, and you're supposed to be in a crisis. But you're still going up. Can't lose. What is that stuff? Faith. F-A-I-T-H. Let them call you crazy. Keep standing. Because they're going to need you. Oh, y'all better hear me. They're going to need you. They're going to try to talk you out. There's a little company, as I said. They're going to do all they can. Hate on you. Make fun of you. Make mockery of you. But they're going to need you. Oh, yeah. He would have to live for me in flesh. I, I'm praying for you. Jesus told Peter, I pray for you that your faith tell you not. Because if you continue to walk by your flesh, you, you ain't going to make it. Because you're going to be dictated to from everything out here. And learn how to shut stuff off. Guard your eye gate, your ear gate, your mouth gate. Guard your heart, for out of it flows what? The issues of your life. Out of your own mouth. Out of people you sit around and let them talk to you all day and night. No, you have to learn how to shut stuff off. And if you're in a position you just got to hear, the first chance you get, you better go get it off of you. Get it off of you. Because you don't want it to stick to you. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. You don't want it to stick to you. Because they talk a whole lot of poverty talk. You don't want that to stick to you. Amen. And here you've been working on getting up out of that valley. The first chance you get, you better get in that closet. I ain't talking about your physical closet. Closet of your mind. And what you do in secret. God is going to reward it open. Hallelujah. Well, you don't have to live by everybody's dictates. Have a mind of your own. I tell people that all the time. Young people and all. Have a mind of your own. Stop letting everybody come along and control your mind. Everybody shouldn't be controlling you. Look like they're having a good time. I'm going to go with it. Look like they have the devil had you running all over the place. Because it looked like it looked like. All dark and handsome. Look like. A wolf in sheep clothes. You don't even see. Amen. You gotta have your own mind. Have a future for yourself. This is my goal. I'm sticking to it. I'm not changing. I'm gonna attract that that I desire. Not somebody else's left over. Come on, Amen. Amen. You gotta say it again. Oh. Ooh, I'm gonna attract what I desire. Come on, now. Put pictures up. Amen. Get a visual. Amen. They'll call you what they want to. They laughed at me, but the laughs are starting to slow down now. <laughs> But I ain't going with it. I know what that is. Enemy would love to see you fall back and just lose everything. 
Yeah. You doing this for you. You ain't doing it for them. Yes, they come and thank you later. Hallelujah. You get yourself in a position where you can have all of them. Let God use you as a distribution center. To have all of them. Hallelujah. This is what God wants to do. He wants to do great exploits through you. But you must allow him. He's not going to break in on you. I don't care how big it is, pretty it is, whatever. You better go with what God is saying. He may take you to a dark place, but he got you there for a reason. Because the light that's in you, I don't care how dark it is, it's going to be a bright, shiny place. But you're going to go in there and speak to that guy and command them grab on to you. You're going to call upon the four winds, the north, south, east, and west. And call breath from them to yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. when you got God working through you. Amen. Care where you are. You got God working through you. You'll bring a lot to everything. Everything will go up. He said you're blessed going in and you're blessed coming out. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field, blessed in the country, blessed in the store. Everywhere you go is blessed. But you got to see yourself. Like he said. You got to see yourself from what he said about you. And not what everybody else has said. Come on, clap your hands with Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on. Hallelujah. We got to the last 15 minutes. We going out with a man. Hallelujah. God put pouring word into you to get you set up and get you ready. Hallelujah. I pray that you don't let this go on death ears. I pray you lock yourself into it. You didn't catch it gone. Go back on YouTube, Tony Wifery. Glory to God and pull it back up and listen to it again. Listen to it again. Listen to it again. It don't matter how many times. Probably because you got to get it down to your spirit. Because you're working on a transformation. And that takes work. 98% of your growth is inner work. Not outer work. People did it from the outside and they still lose. But people that turn inside, they start winning. Because God is a spirit. And the Bible says his spirit joined with your spirit. And the two became one spirit. He that is first, what is it? First Corinthians 6, 17. He that is joined to God become one spirit with him. You ain't on the base. Thank you, Lord. Please, no. Please, no. Devil, get out! The power of God invested in me. Command me out of my body. Out of my mind. Out of my house. Out of my bank account. You take authority. Luke 10, 19. I gave you. I gave you power. Over all the power. Of the enemy. You tread upon scorpions and so <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Crush them like a cockroach. <laughs> and what he said at the end of that scripture, nothing <laughs> shall by any means hurt you. If you're hurting, <laughs> you don't know who you are. You don't know what you possess. <laughs> and you've been going through that for a length of time, baby. You need to let somebody help you. Amen. And stop turning a deaf ear. Yep. 
Because if what you've been doing hasn't been working, you need to try something else. Right. Enough is enough. I got a few calendars here. And I want to give one into every house. If you haven't already got one, those you already got one, don't come up here and get one. Amen. I know who you are. Amen. 